Alright guys, welcome to your fifth Ruby tutorial and in this lesson I'm going to show you guys how to create an object from the class. So remember, in the last lesson we created a class, an animal class. Now a class is pretty much a blueprint for creating objects. So anytime we want to create an animal, it can have a name, an age, and a trait. So now let's go ahead and create an animal object. Anytime we want to create a new animal object, we go ahead and we first need to give it a name or a variable. So first, animal, and variables can have underscores by the way, obviously, as you can see, equals animal dot new. This is how you create an animal object. Basically we're saying, okay, we're going to create an animal object, name first animal, and it's going to be a new object from the animal class. Now go ahead and hit enter, and this is just where it's stored in memory. It looks more confusing. You really never need to memorize this address or anything like that, but that's what it means. That's where it's stored on your memory on your computer. So this will be different on your screen than mine. So now that we gave it a variable nickname, anytime we want to refer to this object, we refer to it as first underscore animal. And then Ruby knows that we're talking about this animal. So remember, I wanted to have this variable, first animal, animal, I wanted this object to represent the dog next door to me, the one named Floyd that barks all the time and it keeps me up when I'm trying to watch my dang Netflix movies. So remember, every animal can have a name, age, and trait. So let's go ahead and set his name right here. So first underscore animal dot name. Now, in order to access an object's attributes, and remember, the attributes of all objects are basically these things, a name, age, and a trait. In order to access those, we need to go ahead and write the object name, which is first animal dot attribute, in this case, dot name. So now we're pretty much saying, okay, we want to access this object's name, and we want to set it equal to, um, you can name yours anything you want. I'm going to name mine Floyd. So now go ahead and hit enter. And now our object, first animal's name, is Floyd. Simple enough. So now what we want to do is we want to set the first animal's age, basically Floyd's age, and a trait about Floyd. So first underscore animal dot age equals how old is Floyd? He's a really old dog. Probably like 93. Hit enter. Now before I go on, I want to mention this. In Ruby programming, anytime you're working with text like Floyd or maybe you want to set the gender to male or female, you need to surround text in double quotation marks. And anytime you want to work with numbers, you don't use quotation marks. So numbers don't get surrounded and text gets surrounded with quotes. So for example, whenever I want to set the trait of this object, so first underscore animal um what is it the trait and I'll just say that this one is annoying that's why I surround it in quotation marks because remember anytime you're working with text it gets surrounded in quotation marks so go ahead and hit enter and now it says okay annoying this is pretty much just a little prompt saying that you set it correctly so now we have an object and its name is Floyd its age is 93 and Floyd is annoying. Okay, that's nice, but did it just, you know, give us our little output and now it doesn't even, you know, remember it ever again? Well, we want to see if Ruby can remember our object, the attributes from our object. So let's go ahead and test it right now. Now, another command, you know how I told you guys that there is a command called print, which uh, printed text out on the screen? There's also a similar command called puts. Now puts also prints text out on the screen, but it's different than print for a couple different reasons. I'll talk about that later on. But just remember, the command puts prints stuff out on the screen. So what we want to do is we want to print the name of Floyd out on the screen. So what we would do is in order to access that trait, we would go ahead and write the name of the object, which is first underscore animal. And in order to access the attribute, the name attribute, separate it with a dot and write name. Now, ugh, I can't even talk. I got so many things going through my brain. 
<laughs> I'm so excited by this program language it's awesome but think about what we're doing right here we want to print out on the screen that's what puts means the name of our first animal that's what we're saying in this command right there so go ahead and hit enter and if all goes right it prints out Floyd and we get nil back which means no errors pretty awesome so now let's go ahead and print out another trait and another shortcut that you guys may want to take note of whenever you're working in interactive Ruby if you go ahead and hit the up arrow on your keyboard it's gonna go ahead and circle through your commands. so up 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 it's just gonna pretty much it's gonna act like memory in so for example the last command I typed was puts first animal name if I type up that's the last command I type so for example I want to print out the trait now so instead of having to type all that I just go ahead and type my last command delete it and you'll see well that's pretty obvious what's going on so now go ahead and print the trait of the first animal which is Floyd go ahead and hit enter and check it out annoying with no errors so that's pretty much it it's pretty much think of this right now is well I'm gonna talk about this in the next tutorial but that is how you make a class and an object and that is how you access the attributes of an object so for now that's all you guys get so thank you guys for watching um, don't forget to subscribe and if you want to you can go ahead and save this program go ahead and sell it to Microsoft for millions or watch my next tutorial where I'm gonna be splicing this up a little bit so for now thanks for watching and I'll see you next video